Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, before I start this lesson, I'm going to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Baha Hashem, Kakudash. My name is Tazim al coming, coming from the camp, Prophets in Babylon, here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach the truth and Ruel. All right, peace and citation to the whole fillet that scatter abroad. Okay, as you can see, we have this post. It says, I swear, Vezo says the boss is the person with the most understanding and not jewelry. And I just want to name this lesson, knowledge is power. Okay, but not no, but not just no ordinary power. I mean, ordinary knowledge, but knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahashah, man. Okay, so we're going to play this video. And um, this is on um, this is an interview from million million dollars worth of game. Okay, so this is an interview with uh, a million dollars worth of game is what two Jake men and they interview you know different uh, I guess influencers or rappers, but they uh they interviewed I swear Vizzo and we're gonna listen to what he say. You a real you gonna show a different way. You feel what I'm saying? Like a lot of. I think a boss is the dude with the jury on. A boss is the dude with the most understanding. That's the definition Absolutely. of a real boss. Absolutely. You feel what I'm saying? Talk heavy. I like that, young. So if you can understand, you a boss. Right. You don't understand, you a goofy one. You know what Absolutely. I'm saying? Everybody done shot, bro. Ain't nobody tougher than the next Let's play again. You a real You going to show a different way. You feel what I'm saying? Like a lot of niggas think a boss is the dude with the jury on. A boss is the dude with the most understanding. That's the definition Absolutely. of a real boss. Absolutely. You feel what I'm saying? Talk heavy. I like that, young. So if you can understand, you a boss. Right. You don't understand, you a goofy one. You know what Absolutely. I'm Everybody done shot, bro. Ain't nobody tougher than the next. And um, what he's saying, hey, most with man with the knowledge, understand is a boss, and best, and best believe Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is going to make us men bosses of this earth. All right, we're going to be judges of this earth. Or Lord willing, we be those elect men. We're going to be bosses. We're going to be, you're going to be joint heirs. But you have a shot. We're going to be judging angels. You know, we're going to be judging the earth. You know, we're going to be making things right. All right, that's why in Isaiah 13 and um 11, let's grab it. Oh, Isaiah 13 and 12, and it says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Look, it's not no ordinary man. You're not going to see this man more precious than fine gold. Yeah, he might have a little bit, a dab, a grain of, you know, you know, knowledge, but it's not the knowledge of Yahweh Shem Shai. Not the knowledge that's going to keep you stable. Not the knowledge that's going to keep you sane in that day. When all hell break loose. When shit hit the fan. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to make you... It's not, that knowledge of the world is not... It's not with you. How about Shemal Shai, man? Because that shit not going to take you nowhere. No college degree. None of that shit is going to take you anywhere. But wisdom and knowledge of you. How about Shemal Shai is going to take you very far in this life. Okay, because the spirit of the earth is changing towards Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Because, hey, the king is coming back to take back what's his. So let's get it. This is um Proverbs 8 and 11. All right, because it said, hey, it's not the man with the uh with the jury that makes him a boss, but the man with the most understanding. So this is Proverbs 8 and 11. For wisdom is better than rubies. Hey, for wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. Hey, wisdom is more precious than Rolexes, the diamond necklaces, the fucking most expensive fucking clothes. Man, all that shit is vain compared to wisdom. What you have in your mind, your wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures, the Holy the Holy Spirit is dealing with you, the Rakakwadash is dealing with you. And giving you knowledge and understanding and breaking down things for you. Bro, nothing can be compared to that. 
Nothing. Because you got to remember, this knowledge we have is very, very valuable. Very more valuable than anything. You cannot buy this truth. You cannot buy the Rikakwadash. You cannot buy this knowledge. Okay? The Lord has to literally give it to you. He has to give it to you. All right? And if your eyes and ears... Are, if he doesn't see you fit... He's not going to give you he's not going to give you Sophia. He's not going to give you wisdom. He's not going to give you understanding. Okay? You're going to just going to be a lost sheep just running wild in circles trying to figure it out in this world, man. Oh, you know, before we was in the world, hey, we thought, hey, let's get get some bread, you know, have a little lifestyle, we'd be straight. But no, the Lord took us out of that. The Lord said, "No, that's not the way, brother. That's not the way, my son." Let me show you the way. Let me let me open your eyes and ears to this. Let me show you the let me show you the path to life. Let me show you the path to immortality. Forsake forsake all that. I'm going to give you a hundredfold. Forsake all that. I'm going to give you your heart's desire. What? And the Lord gave us understanding. Wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Bro, you run across somebody, you open their mind, you tell them you tell them a little bit this and that. That's 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 precious to them because they could take that and, you know, take that with their life and, you know, they apply it, you know, as you know, scriptures say, ace, like, for example, you know, you're in an argument, a hey, soft answer, turn away wrath. Hey, you're like, hey, bro, my bad. You know, this is my fault. Hey, that's wisdom. That's that's knowledge because you're applying it to a situation that's needed. Okay. You know, hey, the Lord is not going to be... The Lord gave us a manual book. The Lord opened our eyes for wisdom. Okay, and our ears to wisdom. And what we have is more precious than rubies. More precious than the finest diamond. Okay? And it says nothing in this earth is compared to it. Okay? Nothing. All right? So let's jump to the book of Proverbs 4 and 5. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 5. And it says, get wisdom. Get understanding, forget it not. Neither decline it from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, because as I said, wisdom, uh, the Greek word of wisdom is Sophia. So she's compared as to a woman. All right, it says forsake her not, right? Forsake not wisdom. And she shall preserve, and she shall, she shall preserve thee. All right, she's going to preserve you. Love her. And she shall keep thee. How you love her. You, you know, you dive into the scriptures. You study her. You know, you study daily. You get you get closer to your how about Shemel Shai. All right. You're not supposed to be forsaken wisdom. You don't cast your woman off. Yeah, you know, you gotta make time for your woman. You gotta spend time with her. You gotta you gotta figure it out. You know, feel her out, man. Okay, you gotta spend, you know, quality time. All right. It says, love her and she shall keep thee, right? She's gonna hold you down. She's gonna She's going to direct your path. She's going to direct your way, right? It says wisdom is the principal thing, right? It's the number one thing. Wisdom is principal. It's key to life, all right? And it says, um, it says, therefore, get wisdom. If wisdom is the principal thing, therefore, get wisdom, okay? And it says, and with all thy getting, get understanding, Okay, with all thy getting, get understanding. All right. If wisdom is a principal thing, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, un get understanding, get understanding of these scriptures. You know, because you don't got, hey, we don't got time to play around. Time is very precious. All right, it's not a thing you could buy back. All right, so you gotta use your time very wisely. Uh, when the Lord gives it to you. You know, a grateful every day that we wake up to be able to preach Yahweh Shemel Shah's word, to study his word, and to still have the Rakakwa Dash. All right, to still deal with us and to have his name. You know, most importantly, his name. You know, not all these Jakes have his name, his secrets, his mysteries, but we do. Okay, we have things needed for salvation. Okay. And it says. Verse 8, it says, exalt her and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou doest embrace her. She shall give to thine head an ornament of grace 
A crown of glory she shall deliver to thee. Hey, bro. When Jeremiah 30 and 7 comes. When Jeremiah 30 and 7 comes. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time. Okay. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the time that we are in. Okay. She's a hey, wisdom and knowledge is going to help you stay grounded, not to get freaked out. You know, it helps us, you know, hey, go here. The Lord tell us, go here, turn left, turn right, go into this house, stay in this house. Hey, open this fridge. Man, bro, go into this bunker. Man, look, bro, hey, the Lord's going to be guiding us. It's going to be, you know, because, hey, because we'll be able to, um, because we've been dealing with Sophia. You know, the Rakakwa Dash is the wisdom and knowledge and understanding. It's the angels that open up your your mind to the to that, man. Okay? So if we're we're abiding, you know, into his words and you know, gaining wisdom. Cause first, to gain wisdom, you have to fear the Lord. Okay, and the more the you fear the Lord, the more wisdom you're gonna obtain. And the more the Lord is gonna open your mind up to, you know, different prophecies and things of that nature, you know, or whatever it is according to your lot, okay? So let's get this scripture. Um, let's actually get a, um, um, what's that word? Let's just read it. So like I just had a brain fart. But this is uh Second Chronicles chapter one verses ten. So this is uh King Solomon, okay. Um he was uh asking Yahweh Shai, you know, in a dream. Uh he was praying. He was praying to uh Yahweh Shai for what what he's about to ask you. Alright, it says um Second Chronicles one and ten it says, Give me now wisdom and knowledge that I may go out and come in before this people, whose people, the Israelites, right? Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. For who can judge this, thy people that is so great? All right, because King Solomon was King David's son and King David know, knew King Solomon was the Lord, okay? And King Solomon was, you know, the wisest man on earth um, and the richest man on earth. Okay, not also not only rich, so like not only rich in um, you know wealth, but also rich in knowledge and faith. Okay. So this is Second Chronicles one and eleven, and the Most High said to Solomon, because this was in thine heart, you know the mind, and thou hast not asked riches, wealth, honor, nor the life of thine enemies. Neither yet has asked long life, but has asked wisdom and knowledge for thyself, that thou mayest judge my people over whom I made thee king. Okay, because wisdom and knowledge do, you know, forward to long life. Okay, because the Lord gave us, you know, wisdom and knowledge of the scriptures. These scriptures help us live a longer life. You know, keeping the commandments, you know, applying different, um, applying his word to different situations. Hey, the Lord is not going to put anything in the book that is not needed. Everything that's in the scriptures is needed. You know, everything were written aforetime was written for our learning. Okay. So this is, you know, something that was written in the past that is fit for now for us to read back and like, damn, okay, this makes sense. This makes sense in this situation, you know. When one person fails, you know, you you correct yourself when you become when you're uh encountered in that same situation. All right, and this is something we have to ask for daily. Hey Lord, you know, forget the riches and wealth. Game Bob Kusha gave me wisdom and knowledge, understanding. Show me more. Okay. So this is verse 12 and says, wisdom and knowledge is granted unto thee. So, so Yahweh granted um, wisdom and knowledge unto King Solomon. Okay. And it says, I will give thee riches, right? 
and wealth and honor such as none of the kings have had that have been before thee, neither shall there any after thee have the like. Okay, so there will be no king like King Solomon. Okay, no, no king like King Solomon. Okay, no king is going to be asking for that, man. Only King Solomon asked for that. So with that, the Lord gave him riches, wealth, and honor. Hey, because you asked for something that's more precious than rubies. That's more precious than jewelry. Okay? Wisdom wisdom is, hey, like we were reading in, in the beginning. Wisdom is more better than rubies. Okay? Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but wisdom will sustain. Okay? So let's get this. This is um, the book of Sirach, chapter 34, verse 9. All right. And this is talking about experience. All right. A man that traveled knoweth many things, and he that have much experience will declare wisdom. Okay. Because if you have experience in something, you have wisdom in that, in that subject. Okay. You want to ask a man for experience on a certain thing. All right, if you're going through a certain thing and a man has experience, he has wisdom in that in that situation. He has wisdom in that subject, right? It says, he that have no experience knoweth little. How are you going to take advice from a man that doesn't have wisdom in that area? Doesn't have experience in that area, right? It says, but he that have traveled is full of prudence, right? He that have traveled is full of wisdom. Prudence is another word of uh, wisdom, okay? <laughs> But you see, man, experience, a hey, wisdom, experience will declare wisdom. Okay. If you, if you have much experience, you have much wisdom, you know, in different situations, you have understanding. Okay. So let's play this video one more time and we'll close it. You a real, you going to show a different way. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like what's that different way? That different ways, you know, opening, you know, Jake, that's not woke to this wisdom and knowledge and understanding and planting the seed into them. Hey, man, this is the hey, this this is the way, bro. This is the way to get saved. You know, possibility because you make your calling election sure. Hey, but you the more you get closer to the Lord, the more you know you have a higher chance. You know, Lord willing, we be delivered. This this is more valuable than anything, right? I didn't think a boss is the deal with the jury on you know, a boss is. The with the most understanding that's the definition Absolutely. of a real boss Absolutely. you feel what I'm saying Talk heavy. I like that. hey cause a real boss that has understanding is going to lead his people a boss is a leader hey then we read, just read in 2nd Chronicles King Solomon you know our king he was, he was a leader he was a boss cause he had wisdom and knowledge and understanding okay he was he asked for that to be able to lead his people. Who's going to be judging our people that is so great? We are a great people. Who's going to be a leader? You need wisdom and knowledge. Understanding. And that's what King Solomon had. So if you can understand, you a boss. Right. You don't understand, you a goofy one. You know what Absolutely. I'm Everybody done shot, bro. Ain't nobody tougher than the next. Right. So with that, man, Lord willing, Lord willing this lesson has been edifying. We're going to give our honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahushar, Bahashim Kakudash. Till next time I say Shalom.